Hi, this is Ricky Brandon again, and once again I want to thank you for purchasing Personal URL Generator. We're going to teach you how to upload or FTP the Personal URL Generator to your website and then how to install it. Those are the two steps we're going to cover right now in this video. It's actually pretty easy. I'm using a program called IP Switch. Um, it's actually IP Switch. That's the way the company says it. IP switch WS underscore FTP professional. Now you can get this as a free trial. Just Google WS underscore FTP and you'll find the company and you'll be able to download their free trial. Any FTP program will work and, and in fact you don't even have to have an FTP program. Your Microsoft uh, Windows Explorer you can do the same thing in there. And I'll cover how to do that in a different uh, tutorial video. But for now, I'm going to show you this using my program. Almost all FTP programs are very similar. So if you've already made a website and uploaded it before, you're going to be familiar with this. So this side of the program represents my computer. And I've already browsed to the file where my install perl.php is. And you'll remember we extracted, extracted that earlier. On the right side is where I've connected to my um, my web host. I'm actually going to disconnect it now and show you. You open a remote connection. I pick which one I want from this connect. And boom, I'm there. And actually, you'll see that there are no files over here. I did this on purpose so that you can see exactly what's happening when we do this. OK? So um, this Perl test website, again, this represents my web host. And you may have files in here on yours. Uh, that's not a problem. OK? So I click on the file I want to upload, install perl.php. And I click Upload. And you'll see it doesn't take very long at all. And it'll show up on the other side. That means now this file, install perl.php, is on my website. It's on my web server. In fact, that's the only file on my web server right now. OK? So to install this, I can, I can disconnect now from I, I, IP switch or WSFTP. And I'm just going to go to a web browser. And I type in the domain name, OK? Creditfetch.com install perl.php. So this domain name I installed it on is creditfetch.com. And I'm navigating to that exact file I uploaded, which is called installperl.php. And I just go there. This is just like visiting a website, OK? And you should land on a page that looks just like this. If your page doesn't look like this, and it has all kinds of weird writing up at top, that means you have a, a directory permissions problem. And I'll cover that in another video. If you just can't figure it out, go ahead and write to support. But I'm going to cover that in another video. You should be either be redirected to a different page. But if everything went smooth, you're going to have a page that looks like this. And to install Personal URL Generator, you need to put your first name, last name, and email address. This qualifies you for all the future upgrades, because I do give free upgrades uh, when I release new versions. So I'm just going to put in my name and my email address. OK, and this is the install wizard. The next step is to tell Instant Perl what to do with visitors who arrive at your website with no name in their URL. So in this case, my domain name is creditfetch.com. And so a Perl would look like creditfetch.com slash ricky.brandon. So what if someone just comes to creditfetch.com with no Perl? What do I want to do with them? Well, in this case, if I select this first button, I want to redirect them to my index page or redirect them to my home page. OK? Most people will select this. Um, if I select this option, it will send them to a page that says, put in your name, your first name and last name, and then it will send them to my Perl page that's all customized. So um, again, I don't suggest that you do this one because most the most effective way is to already have their name. So most people will select this first option that's that's uh, selected by default. Then I go down here, click the Install Perl Now. And it just takes a minute. 
and it should pop through and boom it redirects me to a page that says congratulations and if you put your real name on the first form it'll pull your name in there it's kind of cool and so this is your very first Perl page and it shows you exactly how to use it how to create your other Perl pages what codes to put in in order to pull the names the dates uh, by the way, I didn't tell you earlier, it, it actually pulls in dates uh, for you. This is today's date when I'm showing you this video. And it shows you how to format your pearls. Okay? And uh, so you want to print this page for reference. You're actually going to upload over top of this page. Uh, let's go back to I. Uh, WSFTP and reconnect and I'm going to show you what that install did. You'll see now there's a an HT access file, there's a Perl.html file and a Perl.php file. This uh, the page we're looking at, the one that says congratulations, you're signed up, is actually this Perl.html file. So all you need to do to create your Perl page is create a new Perl.html file and upload it over the top of this one. Okay, so you can make it look however you want. It just needs to be called Perl.html. You use those codes that we talked about on this other screen, these codes right here. So this page, actually, when you're looking at the HTML, when it's not online, it says congratulations, colon, first, colon. Just like this. Congratulations, colon, first, colon. And that makes it pull in the name the first name that's in the URL right there, the Ricky. And again, here you can use an underscore or a dot. It doesn't matter. Okay? If I had put congratulations, Mr. Space, colon, last, colon, it would have said congratulations, Mr. Brandon. It would have pulled that in. So you can see you don't always have to use the names. You can get creative with this and um, put other things in these fields like their city name. Um, so you could then write things congratulations colon first colon Ricky. So that would pull in Ricky of and then you could put colon last colon and if you had put their city right there instead of the last name. So it could say Ricky dot Utah. So it could say congratulations Ricky of Utah or of Las Vegas or whatever. So um, get creative with things, this thing man. You can have a lot of fun. So I hope that answers your questions and hopefully your installation goes as smoothly as this one did.